The answer is yes for most of them. And you don't have to do anything. You just leave the locality as it is and geolocate tries to figure it out. The one fabulous thing about geolocate is that it's able to find intersections of rivers and roads because it was created by people in fish collections where that is a very common occurrence. And so it can georeference fish collections very well and put the points in the rivers because they have the river layers available. So yes, all the examples that we saw from Alex's data set only had a named place in the locality field. So that was an easy one. All it really had to do is say where are the coordinates and how big is it and create the georeference. But yes, it can do distances and directions as well. So it's quite powerful. I want to know whether if georeferencing can provide the coordinates of names of a region. Assuming I have names of some towns or villages and I want to georeference, can georeference provide me the coordinates of this? The question is, can georeferencing, or in this case geolocate, mm -hmm. right, provide you with the coordinates for things other than names of towns, for example, right? For regions. So I have the names of the towns, but right. I want the coordinates. Yes. The answer is yes. It's able to georeference them if the town is in the coordinate source, in the database that it talks to. So the answer is the the chances of it finding that place are dependent on where in the world you're searching and it also depends on the kinds of features that are in the locality descriptions. So as I said geolocate is quite focused on rivers because of fish collections so it has very good data about rivers throughout the world and it's probably able to do a geolocation based on rivers pretty well. But it, on the other hand, it might not have very good data about small towns in Sierra Leone. And that's very dependent. So the best way to answer your question is try it. Run Geolocate to see if it gives you those answers and look at the ones that it's unable to answer and try to figure out what are its characteristics. Maybe it's able to do everything except protected areas because that protected area information is not in the database. If that's the case, you write to geolocate and say, hey, I love your tool, but you're missing protected area information for my country. Could you add it? And they're fairly responsive to, to adding information, especially if you can tell them where to find the data. So you, you can improve its chances of georeferencing for you if you know what it's unable to do right now. <laughs> Other questions? These are great questions. First one was over there. I'll come back. Okay, thank you. Well, is there any relationship between georeferencing, remote sensing, and then GIS? Because it seems to be. Is there any relation between georeferencing and GIS? Yes. Yes. Remote sensing. Yes, and remote sensing. Yes, <laughs> many relations between them. The, there are two categories of relation, let's say. One is you might want to use geo, GIS to help you to georeference. In some cases, the only source of your information might be on a printed map because it's never been digitized. You're looking at localities that were written 100 years ago and you have a map from a hundred years ago. And you use that map for your coordinate sources and there's no such information in GIS anywhere. So you're forced to use the maps. In other cases, you might have information in the GIS layers that are only available there or are easier to use there. So you would use GIS in the georeferencing process. GIS to produce the georeferences. So that's the one category. The other category is 
one of the reasons we're doing the geo georeferencing is to have coordinates and uncertainties to use with GIS for some other analysis. Because we want to combine those data with other data that are spatially enabled already, like human use patterns or environment. We want to combine where species occur with other information. Or and that's sensing or remote sensing data. We want to take all of these uh, locations that we've georeferenced and put them on the maps and see where it lies in respect to what the satellites have to say about the surface of the Earth now or in 1970. So the answer is yes, very heavily related on all sides. Does that answer the question? Yeah, that was actually part of my question. But uh, now, how do you, if you, for example, if you have locations of various protected areas in a in a in a place like she she asked, how how could you reconcile this protected area now in geolocate? You would do exactly what we just did. Okay. So the question is, suppose you have data that are in protected areas mm -hmm. and you want to do the georeferencing of those. Yes. Okay. Protected areas are just like all other locations in theory, in that they mm -hmm. describe some named place, mm -hmm. and um, that named place has a location and it has a size. Yes. So we can georeference it. We can georeference it if we have the information about where it is and how big it is. So that's directly dependent on whether the protected area information is in the source data used by Geolocate. And the, only, the easiest way to find that out, create a list of your protected areas. Mm -hmm. A small data set, mm -hmm. no, 15 records or something, yeah. and send it to Geolocate exactly in the way we just did, and see if it can georeference it. Just the list of the protected areas? Just the list of the protected areas and send that to Geolocate. If it can do them for your 15 records, it can do them for your specimens. Okay. Thank you. Other questions? Great questions. So John's just showing you a few of the things that you can do with these tools. There are other calls out to other web surfaces that might allow you to check taxonomy, for example, and find um, names that are standard and matching an authority versus names that are not. So there is a whole suite of possibility and it grows. Okay, you can, people who know how can build new web services that provide new capacities. This is just an example. Also, it probably wasn't presented in enough detail that you're able to do it right now, but these are things that can be set up and you can consult with people who've done it before. Okay? Yeah. Last comments? Uh, don't stop it though, I'm gonna continue and cover exactly what you just talked about in brief. Is this on or no?